I am attempting, right before your very eyes, a 30-day spider spy trade challenge. This is on the S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol SPY, that's SPY. Currently ranging up. You see what it's doing today at open. It just plummeted right down there to 396.66. It's had a high today of 398.13. It's back in the green. Looks like it's about to try to go sideways. It's at 397.85. I already have an order on for today. And that would be down here. If we look at this one expires today, February 28th. We put that on at the end of yesterday. If you saw that live, we did it live. And that's currently at 94.74% profit. So if I sold that right now, if I close that right now, I'd probably have to pay $2 to close the two contracts. But we're going to let it ride for now because it's at a comfortable number. And then we have Friday's action still going on. So we have action for today, 402 slash 404 on the sell and then on the buy side of the call. So I wanted to look at tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow, let's take a look again. It's still in the green right now. So what about tomorrow? I want to stay again on the bear side of the credit spread. So if we sell a call and go out to March 1st, which is tomorrow, tomorrow. And what if we got, you know, fairly conservative and went over here and we went at 404. Okay, if we sold at 404 and got a 12 cent credit, do we have the guts to buy at 407? So we got 404, 407, or should we just do this? Let's do that. <laughs> you, you're just a kook, aren't you? So if we have a $8 or 8 cent credit for tomorrow and we look at four contracts, We'd be looking at $36 bills, but that's a low likelihood of filling. But we can open it. Let's take a look at the spider right now. It's still greening up, still greening up. So that should fill. That should fill if it continues to leg up just a bit. So let's try to get the $36 bills right here and right now on this call credit spread, $800 in collateral. So that's on the table. We'll take a look at it just for a minute here and see what Spider is going to do. Because if we continue to see the green on these Christmas candles, that should fill while we're doing it live, while we're doing it live right here on the Yahoo Finance. This is one minute intervals on the chart. Okay, we clicked on the chart button for SPY, currently at 39 39805. So it's trying to stay above the 398. Clicked on the chart button, clicked on one day, and then went to a one minute interval right here. And then we clicked on hollow candles. Normally I have this on the line, okay, which then I can see better with regard to moving averages. But for looking at this for the trades that we're making during this 30 day challenge, I like to take a look at those hollow candles. And then from there, I can also zoom in a little tighter to see what we're doing right now. Right here and right now. So you see we got, if we look from, from this long red candle all the way back up, we've got some green action. And it looks like it's trying to, trying to get a red going there, which means we may not have filled. Still have not filled, but we'll let that ride for now. Um, see what we can get on the books for tomorrow. Let's go back here. Take a look at today's trade. So that is a pending order for credit spreads to open 404 to 406. We'll keep an eye on that to see if it gets filled. If not, we'll make an adjustment when it's green again. Okay. So on the call side, when it's green, we're going to get a little bit better premium than if it's red. But our feeling is, or our trading thesis for this week is that we're going to go sideways to maybe even lower as we progress during the week. And our 402 slash 404 calls right now are at 94% profit. And then down here, we have, we have that um, 406 slash 408 credit spread that we put on yesterday, which expires Friday, March 3rd. And that's currently at 
a $55 profit and just about 40% of the total profit that's available because I think we booked it at 160. Let's take a look here. Scroll down here. It looks like we booked it at 140. Okay, so we are at around 40% of that 100% profit. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. But I wanted to try to get a trade going. See if that thing's still pending. It is. We've got zero contracts filled right now. But what are we doing with the candles? So we're 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 trending up. That's certainly possible that that can fill at any time which would be nice. So on the other end of those has to be an actual person or market maker, you know, the middleman has to be somebody else that's going to accept the other end of that trade. So that's the interesting part of the options. Um, With the way I've researched this and have been able to figure out is probably the The most even playing field is options as far as the regular guy. And I am, as you know, and you can tell I'm a regular guy. I don't even know if you're a regular, Bart. You're probably right. But with the tools that are available, with the different option chain research that you can do and all the uh, seeking alphas out there and alpha spread and um, Yahoo Finance and all these different tools that are available, it's pretty even ground because, you know, there's two sides to every one of these option trades. So you have those that are more on the buy side, more of the gamblers. Then you have those like me more on the sell side who are more like the casino. So, you know, like a trade that we just put on, this was at about a 13, 14 delta, which that's a low risk percentage, right? So that's what we want to see when we're putting our dollar bills up for grabs. So we're up just a little bit today, totally on our portfolio, you know, and we've been taking gas on a lot of our holdings. Let's go down to the stocks just to take a look. You know, Ford's been a dog lately. Um, After AT&T rose up over 20 bucks a share, you know, it's been flat to down. Verizon's been flat to down. Intel's been just a absolute bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Even though Walgreens is up today, it's still been a real Bowser. Uh, Bank of America, we like that. Pfizer, again, Un Pfizer, what are you doing? In fact, on Un Pfizer, I was just put um, 200 shares at $46 per. And if we go up to Pfizer, if we take a look at the old Pfizer, that was a big time paper loss. <laughs> you got to have to pay more attention, Bart. I do. I I was out a bit, so I thought I was, you know, safe at looking at that in a couple of days and then rolling it, rolling it out and down. But we got caught with our pants down on that. So we're gonna have to work on the FISA, because look at that, it's currently at forty dollars sixty eight cents. And I just paid forty six dollars a share for two hundred shares. So that's uh no good, is it? No, that's no good at all. So what else do we got going on down here? Google we like, of course, Devon we like, even though it's still hovering around that that uh, $54 mark. Where's it at currently? Where are you at? $54.22. Okay, so see, it's struggling. It was up to $54.82 today, and then now it's it's went all the way down to $54.08 and back up. And we have some spreads that are some uh, puts that are expiring Friday at $54 because we do want to own more, and they're going – X dividend next week. So we want to lock in some dividends as well. But those what we have on the table right now. So we got some a lot of action Jackson on the Devon Energy because we do like it long term, but we don't like to lose money. Remember what Sparkle told you? Yeah, she said rule number one, don't lose money. So that's what we want to try to do, but you're going to take it on the chin from time to time. So that is me rambling through. I just wanted to show you that spy move. Where are we at on that? Why isn't any of that filled? Any of it? Mm-mm. Come on now. You can do it. We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at it now. No, we won't look at it now, but I'll keep my eye on it. And we have to come back and adjust it. We will. We want to get a trade on for tomorrow because we have one on today and we have one on for Friday. So we need one tomorrow and Thursday. I want to try to have one trade 
on SPY every day for 30 trading days and see how we do. And not, maybe not 30 trading days, maybe through the end of March. And then we'll get out the old spreadsheet and see how things went based on the amount of collateral that was held and the returns that we've received. How can we do in a calendar month trading the SPY? Are we trading the SPY? Let's take a look at SPY right now. It's still green. Look at the greens. Come on. It's going to fill any moment. I just know it. But in the meantime, I'll let you go because I'm sure you're busy. But make sure you do subscribe. You leave me some comments, like the video, share it with some lovable friends, and I will come back later today. It could be in five minutes for all I know, but I'll be back because I got some moves to make on some other stocks that we want to start wheeling. And we will see you in the next video.